All right, YouTube, now today I will be showing you how you can transfer save data between platforms for your PSP games. Now, this should work for Android, Windows, using the PPSSP emulator, as well as PSP and PS Vita games. Now, if you are trying to run a PSP game on a device, which I did not just mention, try to follow along and uh, find the folders that I tell you to look for in this video, since the process is very similar for all types of different platforms. So like I said, if you, I didn't just mention the device that you're using, it may still for, work for you, you're just gonna have to find the folders. Now, I will also be showing you how to view hidden files on Windows 11. This is absolutely crucial for PS Vita and PSP. However, on Windows and Android, you probably won't need the setting activated. But to err on the side of caution, I will show you how to do this. And if you are using an older version of Windows, just do a quick Google search and the rest will be quite similar regardless of which version of Windows you're using. Now, in order to access the File Explorer options, on Windows 11 you can simply type in File Explorer options in the search bar and this window will pop up. Now you're gonna to wanna to head over to View and make sure that the circle show hidden files is selected. So check that box right there. And then make sure that this box right here is unchecked, okay? You will get a warning and I do recommend that you revert these settings at the end so that you don't end up deleting any important files in the future. All right, now once you've saved and applied these settings, Make sure that you plug in any device that you're either trying to extract save data from or load save data onto. And make sure that you can access these files from your computer. Now in my case, on my Android, I get a notification. This will vary from one device to another, however. So if you can't figure it out, just do a quick Google search. And on your PS Vita, you're just gonna to wanna to open Vita Shell, which you probably already have if you have custom firmware. And just hit select in order to connect it to your computer. And on the PSP, uh, I do have a broken screen, so apologies for that. However, once you're in the settings, just make sure that you hit USB connection and make sure it's connected to your computer. Now, regardless of which device you're using, you're always gonna be looking for a folder called PSP. Now, if you are actually using an original PSP, you will find this folder by simply heading over to the PSP folder, which is in the root directory, and heading over to save data, and this is the folder that you're looking for if you're trying to extract or load it onto your device. Now, on the PS Vita, from your root directory, simply head over to the PSP EMU folder, which should then also contain a folder called PSP, which has your saves in it. And on Windows, um, the PPSSPP emulator should save your saves to the document section by default. So on your C drive, head over to the document section, find the folder called PPSSPP, and it'll also contain a folder PSP with your save data. And lastly on Android, this depends on where you save it. However, I have the PSP uh, folder saved directly to my root directory. So that's quite simple to find. And in here, once again, you will also see a save data folder. Now, right here, I will be demonstrating how, uh, how to transfer the save data from one platform to another. This really works between any devices, which I just showed you. And um, as you can see, when I load up this game on my PS Vita, this is Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, you will see the following save right here. Um, so take note of this, uh, this is sort of the before picture. And if I plug my Vita back into my computer, I can simply open up both folders, the PSP directory on my uh, in my document section under PPSSPP and PSP folder on my Vita and just find the right folder under a save data 
which in this case is the European version of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Copy paste that into the save data folder on my Windows computer. Once I've done this, I can simply boot up the PPSS PP emulator, load up the game that I'm looking for, Anyways, once this game is uh, booted up, you will see that um, the save is virtually identical to the one in the PS Vita. So you could compare this with the one in the PS Vita. Uh, so this method definitely works, and I really hope I could help you guys along with this video. If you liked the video, I would really appreciate a like. If you have a question, please leave it below in the comments, and I'll try to answer it and help you guys along. And if you're excited about videos like this in the future, I would also really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell. Thanks guys, till next time.